Let us discuss a question on angular momentum which came in J e. mains 2016. So here's the question. A particle of mass m is moving along the side of a square of side a with a uniform speed v in the xy plane as shown in the figure. Find the angular momentum L about the origin when the particle is moving from A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. So in this figure, the particle is moving from A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A in anti-clockwise direction. And the, the distance of A from O is R. And OA is at an angle of 45 degree with the x axis. Also, the length of each side of the square is A and the particle is moving with a velocity V at all times. Now, the angular momentum of the particle of mass M can be given by L equal to M into R cross V where m is the mass of the particle, r is the distance of the particle from the origin or the reference and v is the velocity of the particle. Now the magnitude of the angular momentum L can be written as m into v into r perpendicular. This r perpendicular is the distance is the perpendicular distance of the particle from the origin. Now let us see the diagram. The distance OA is R. When the particle travels from A to B, its perpendicular distance from the origin O will be this distance. Let us say this point is O dash. Now this distance O dash A will be R sine 45 degrees and that will be equal to r by root 2. Also, when the particle moves from D to A, its perpendicular distance from O will be this distance and this distance, let us say this point is O double dash and it will be r cos 45 degrees and that is equal to r by root 2. Now let us calculate the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from A to B. So L A to B will be M V into R perpendicular that is and this R perpendicular will be O dash A and that is equal to R by root 2. Now let us calculate the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from B to C. So similarly it will be M V R perpendicular. Now the R perpendicular that is a perpendicular distance of the particle when it moves from B to C from the origin will be O dash A plus A B that is R by root 2 plus A. So M into V into r by root 2 plus a. Now let us calculate the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from C to D. So angular momentum of the particle when it moves from C to D will be m v r perpendicular. Now the r perpendicular in this case will be d a plus a o dash that is a plus r by root 2. Now let us calculate the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from D to A that is L D A. In this case the angular momentum of the particle will be m v r perpendicular and that will be equal to m into v into distance of the particle per the perpendicular distance of the particle when it moves from d to a from the origin and that will be equal to o double dash a that is r by root 2 so m v r by root 2 so finally we have found the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from a to b b to c c to d and d to a 
but this is only the magnitude we also have to find the direction so to find the direction let us remember a simple rule so the rule is if we write i j k in this manner and if we move in clockwise direction so if we take the cross product of the vectors in clockwise sense that is i cross j it will give the resultant as the third vector so i cross j equal to k similarly j cross k equal to i and k cross i equal to j also if we change the sense now that is if we take the anti clockwise sense this sign will be negative that is j cross i equal to minus k k cross j equal to minus i and i cross k equal to minus j now to find the direction of the angular momentum in all these paths we have to calculate the direction of the resultant of r cross v so first of all let us see in the path a to b so when the particle moves from a to b we have to find the resultant of r cross v so the r is in the positive y direction that is j and the velocity of the particle is in the positive x direction so i and from here we know that j cross i equal to minus k so l a b the angular momentum vector will be equal to m v r by root 2 into minus k so this will be equal to minus m v r by root 2 k similarly if we try to find the angular momentum of the particle when it goes from path p to c so from b to c the angular momentum will be l b c equal to m v r by root 2 plus a into the r is in the positive x direction so i and the velocity is in the positive y direction so j so i cross j and we know that i cross j is k so finally it comes out to be m v r by root 2 plus a into k similarly let's find out the angular momentum of the particle when it moves from c to d so from c to d l c d vector equal to m v r by root 2 plus a and here the r is in the positive y direction so j cross and the velocity is in the negative x direction so minus i so it will be m v r by root 2 plus a into j cross i is minus k and 1 minus is already here so finally it comes out to be k now let us calculate the direction of the angular momentum when it moves from d to a so from d to a l d a vector will be m v r by root 2 into here the r is in the positive x direction that is i but the velocity is in the negative y direction so minus j so finally it comes out to be m v r by root 2 i cross j is k but here a minus sign is present so minus k so finally we have l d a vector that is the angular momentum of the vector 
of the particle when it moves from d to a is minus mv r by root 2 k.